So let's take a look at how to find where functions are increasing and decreasing without being given a graph. So let's take a look at the function y equals 4x cubed plus 21x squared plus 36x minus 20. How could we find where the function is increasing and decreasing? Well, similar to um, finding relative and absolute extremas, the very first step is to find the derivative and set it equal to 0. So y prime is going to be equal to 12x squared plus 42x plus 36. And then we have to set it equal to 0. So I'll write 12x squared plus 42x plus 36 once again. And notice that we can factor this polynomial. And I can take out a 6. So when I factor out a 6, I'll get 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. And once again, we can factor this smaller polynomial into two different factors. And the way we can do that is first step, multiply the a and the c terms. So 2 times 6 is 12. And I need two numbers that can add to 7, a positive 7. And that would be 4 and 3. So I'll write x plus 4, and then x plus 3. Since we have a coefficient of 2 as the a term, then I need to divide by 2 on both of those numbers. And if it comes out clean, like the x plus 4, then I can write x plus 4 over 2 or x plus 2. And if it does not come out clean as a fraction, like 3 halves, then what I, what I can actually do is bring the 2 out front as the coefficient of x. So I can rewrite it as 2x plus 3. And that is the factor. And those are the two factors for 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So now when I rewrite my derivative, I can say 0 equals 6 times our two factors of x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. So now all I have to do is find the zeros. So I set x plus 2 equal to 0 and 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Um, when x plus 2 equals 0 and I subtract the 2, x will equal negative 2. And when 2x plus 3 equals 0, then x will be equal to negative 3 halves, or negative 1.5. So now i got to set up my sign chart and put the two critical values on there. So I can put negative 2 first, because it's le less than negative 3 halves. And then I put negative 3 halves here. So now once again, we're just picking values. And the main thing we're trying to do is find out whether they are positive or negative. We don't need the exact value. So to the left of negative 2, I can put like negative 3. And I make sure you plug it into the derivative and not to the original equation. So when I plug in negative 3 to the derivative, I'll get a positive 6 times a negative number times another negative number. So negative times a negative is positive, and positive times positive is positive. So I'll put a plus sign there. Now between negative 2 and negative 3 halves, I can plug in like negative 1.75 or negative 7 over 4. And when I do that, I'll get positive times another positive. And when I plug in um, negative 7 over 4 to 2x plus 3, I'll get a negative number. So a negative times a positive would then be a negative. So I'll put a negative sign down here. And then something greater than negative 3 halves, let's just plug in 1. And if I plug in that, I'll get a positive. I'll get a positive times another positive times another positive, and that's obviously just going to be positive. So now what, I've, now what I can do, now that I've found all my uh, signs, is I can make the function, or create the function, so, or at least draw it. So here's a positive, and then since it's negative, since the derivative is a negative, the function will decrease there, and then since it's positive, it will go back up and increase once again. So now that I've uh, drawn my function, I can label where the values are increasing and decreasing. So 
for where the function is increasing, we can say that it's positive, where the derivative is positive from negative infinity to negative 2 and from negative 3 halves to infinity because we know that when the derivative is positive the function is increasing. So I can write negative infinity to negative 2. I need the union sign and negative 3 halves to infinity. And then lastly for where the function is decreasing it is only at one interval from negative 2 to negative 3 halves. So I write negative 2 to negative 3 halves or negative 